realized project that you will hear more about is implemented by the government of Liberia through the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, and the Liberia Agency for Community Empowerment Links. These are the three institutions that are implementing the realized project that you are about to hear more about. But we were working with the Liberia Social Safety Nest Project, which were involved with cash transfer, in Millie, Grand Crew, and Bomi. That project has ended. So we are transitioning to the real last project. So that's why we call it this high level country consultation, and then we move on into the community for community consultation. I want to take this up the right hand you to make a wrong and be grateful. As my body rightly said, we are from the real last office from General Ministry. When we say real last, it's a short form for corporate of economic activities for Liberian informal sector employment. So we call it short and say real last. The project real last is implemented by the World Bank through the Ministry of Gender, Ministry of Youth and Sports, and this the Liberian Agency for Community Empowerment. So we are here today to discuss on the implementation process of this project. Today is a very important day for the people that we want to encounter. The good news for the development superintendent is that we are happy to announce to you that Bravoji County has been selected to benefit from the social care transfer program. Honor the recovery of economic activity for Liberia informal sector employment project, last. The cash transfer program brings hope to many families who are considered extremely poor and fully secure. When we listen to the testimonies of beneficiaries of this program, we are proud because this is the goal of the government of Liberia to lift people out of poverty on the poor agenda for prosperity and development. The project objective is to increase access to income earning opportunity for vulnerable in the informal sector in response to passive, expand income and library support to poor and fully secure households and improve efficiency in managing social protection programs in Liberia. Specifically, the project aims to facilitate the creation of opportunities for income generation, temporary employment, as well as providing direct income support. Targeting, how are we going to get the beneficiary? Before you can become beneficiary of this program, you must have been enumerated by the Liberia Household Social Registry. The real last project is covering all of the counties. Some of the counties will benefit from certain components. Other countries will not receive that component. So, for example, Weber G will receive the social cash transfer component, Weber G will not receive the other component, right? Now, what are those six components? We have great support to vulnerable households to revive or start small business. We call it SSB. We have temporary employment support and employability development for vulnerable workers, which is led by the Ministry of Human Sports. We have two other components. One is uh, the project limitation of coordination. And then there is what we call contingency emergency response components. We have the third component we call community livelihood and agriculture support, we call class. And then the last component, which is component six, and that is what we are here for the social cash transfer and strengthening of the national social protection system. My 
questions I have on ground this morning has to do with uh, the way the, the, the benefits will come. We were here, the citizens of Fifth Town City were here when we gave direct uh, program key and passed over the citizens of Fifth Town by saying that whenever you live in the city, you have offer home. With this project, we will not say the same to us if there is poverty in Fifth Town and there are communities that are extremely poor. By the grace of God, they fall in the category, they will be selected. I pray that it will be a little willing. A man down there is, suppose you enter the house, and this man that is so willing, with all the willing we see, he will tell and say, well, you we stay out there, I get four women. This is the hair we are responsible for everything. So if that hair we want, I will take the money on behalf of this family. This project intended to help people from poverty. But why should community be selected? We don't have plenty of money to give it to everybody. The women have small money. And this small money we hope that we can give it to those who are first in need. This money they talk here about. This money is to what? To improve the livelihood of our people. When they say women, because women are what? Women they are marginalized and they are the what? Housekeeper. The gender labor that women are doing, most of you will not know about that gender labor. We do the cooking. We do what? What you know it? We are not paid for it, but we are what? Who has manager? So they are putting women at front. We want to say thank you for honoring our invitation to come, even at a very short notice. I know that it's a difficult thing, but at least the information we got can compensate for whatever we lost. River G is a county that is very far from the urban centers of Liberia. So sometimes for people of like this to come here, it takes time. But when it comes here, we should embrace it because we don't know when another opportunity